Drop it. That chair is the first piece of furniture Jerry Nestor bought a hundred years ago. <laughs> Hot seat. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, I wanted to play with you about a process that I've been um, working on and uh, had some amazing results with and, and see what comes out of that. So Let's talk um, about what the vibrational components of it are because if you're having success with it, then it is vibrationally accurate. Yeah, it's... it's, it's okay, so yes, yeah, so we'll talk about that. So um, 60 days ago... I, I had an epiphany, right? And I said, and it's ridiculous to say it because you've been telling us so many times in so many ways, and I finally was like, dummy, I get it, I get it, right? So I said, I'm going to, for the next 30 days, I wrote out a calendar, and I said, for 30 days, every day, I'm going to look at this calendar, and I'm going to um, write down the things that I'm doing to make sure that I stay happy. Here's the things that I like to do. Here's the things that get me in that positive place. And it forced me, early on it was a struggle because I'd forget, oh yeah, that calendar, I gotta go do something to make me happy, which sounds crazy. But um, started to do that, and after a while it picked up momentum. And, um, and one of the things that I did was, I wrote you a thank you letter for all the amazing things that happened as a result of the process, which hadn't happened yet. And so, every day, twice a day, I would read that letter, picturing the hot seat, and me reading it, or me saying it to you as if it had already happened. And and I won't read the whole letter here, but um, some of the things that I put so, in here. So, so let's just talk yeah. about the vibrationally accurate components so far. Okay. So by writing the letter now about something that hadn't manifested as if it already had manifested, you blurred the lines of present and future mm -hmm. and focused upon the vibration, which caused you to offer an, a, a vibration that was not split. Mm -hmm. And when a vibration isn't split and you focus upon it in a steady way, manifestations come to the vibration. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Everything is now. So whether you're thinking about the past or the present or the future, you're doing it all right now. Right. So that's a very clever thing that you did by Scotty says that uh, Scotty, you know, Scotty, Scotty, yeah. Scotty, as he is, as he is, Set, setting up the room the night before he always says to Esther oh this was such a good workshop <laughs> right. at first his implication was I've gone into the future and I've seen what you've lived <laughs> but it's the same thing isn't it mm -hmm. I have found the vibrational frequency and I'm practicing it now mm -hmm. because of something that is coming mm -hmm. but when you play it like that it shores up the vibration now yeah and the other the other aspect of it too is um i i didn't i wasn't that specific on some of it because i i noticed in the past i used to be very very good at force filling my own grid you know i'd say i want to date that person i'm going to make this happen because she's the right one and then and then i'd be dating her and i'd go ooh, no no sorry <laughs> Right. So, so, but I was very good with that. I would, I could pick jobs. I'm going to get that job and it's going to be awesome. And I would get it and I would be miserable. So on, so this, I talked about, I was less specific and I said, okay, so one of the things is I've always wanted to be in, in business with my best friend and we're going to finally figure out something that's going to be, um, in a fun field that I maybe have no business in, but, um, um, I'm gonna, we're going to make that happen finally and I'm going to have um, I'm going to finally find the love of my life and I wrote down all the attributes uh, of this woman and I found that in reading it by, by the time in, in reading this letter to myself pretending it had all, all already happened um, I was in love with her right I, I don't even I didn't even know her but the list was exhaustive and it's, it's like this is the most amazing woman on the planet and and I wrote about how and I'm going to lose 15 pounds and I'm not I'm going to eat whatever I want and I'm going to not exercise and it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so I'm reading this miracle thing and and so over the 30 days or 60 now I lost I didn't lose 15 pounds I lost 17 pounds. Not not thank you thank you not changing anything. Um, my best friend calls me out of the blue and says I've got this amazing idea for a business we're going to be partners I have no no business being in this field whatsoever, but it's the field I want to be in. And he said, we're 50-50 we're partners and, and we're getting all kinds of feedback on this is going to be this am amazing thing. I'm going to be quitting my boring job soon and doing that full time. And then out of nowhere, a woman who I have carried a torch for for 10 years, who I never, we've been very, very good friends, 
All of a sudden, one day says to me, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I can't, I can't not anymore. I am in love with you. And she is amazing, <laughs> like amazing. And, and she's everything that's on the list. She was all of those things. And I'm sitting there and I keep looking at her going, really, really me? And she's saying the same thing to me. I can't believe it. So I don't want to talk her out of it. But <laughs> I, so everything that I, that I put in here to thank you for, I'm here now to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, so let's talk about the components of this. It's very clear what he's been doing. Did you hear a few dozen words that, that you kind of wished he wasn't saying? Like dummy and the list was exhaustive and 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 can you feel how those words that usually we all cringe at didn't matter because the universe isn't hearing his words he doesn't mean any of those things with those words he's using those words to entertain the rest of us mm -hmm. and that the vibrational frequency of his being is one of he he practiced himself into the momentum of expecting what he wanted through yeah. writing the list of what he wants and Speaking of it as if it is already done. Yeah. Genius. That was the one half of it. And the, and the other half was, um, so when I was doing those things uh, to make myself happy, I wasn't doing it saying, okay, now I'm going to pet my cat because somewhere the love of my life is coming. Right. And I wasn't doing it to try to make it happen. I was, I was saying, I got that in the letter. I'm already going to be thanking, thanking Abraham and Esther and everybody. I'm, I, I get it. She's going to come out of, out of nowhere. So right now I'm just going to have fun petting the cat or doing whatever was on my list of fun things to do well hear what you're saying this is an important thing because what he's saying is he gets it that there's step one ask for what you want step two get into the place of allowing what you want and step three the step three is getting in the place of allowing what you want step two is the universe has already lined it up but the important thing about the reason that you might want to pet your cat is in petting your cat you're doing the step three thing mm -hmm. you can't do step one and step three at the same time so anything that you're doing that feels good while you're doing it is a step three moment. Mm -hmm. There are two things that you talked about that we really think are worth uh, shining a little light on because of the, how effectively they worked for you. And we just want to talk about what that is. Okay. And that the, the first thing is when you are trying to motivate something into being, when you're trying to hammer it into being, you talked about that a little mm -hmm. bit. There is this belief within you that there is some hurdle to overcome. Mm -hmm. And so when you talked about wanting to hammer the grid into place, when you take an easy approach about things, then you're more likely to be inspired. And the inspiration to act is really what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. So by practicing the thoughts that feel good about the things that you really care about, you practice the vibration until you are chronically in this place of allowing what you want. Mm -hmm. It's like on this emotional scale of spinning grid point of attraction discs, you found yourself chronically in that happy, good feeling place mm -hmm. because what you had written and what you were reading and what you therefore practiced into a place of expectation got you there so that you were chronically there mm -hmm. so that anything that is a vibrational match to that kind of momentum has to join you there. Mm -hmm. So we just want to point out the difference between being there and attracting up to where you are things that match it as opposed to being in a place of trying to make it happen and trying to push things along. It's mm -hmm. like pushing a noodle. <laughs> Everything that you said is vibrationally accurate. Everything that we felt from you while you said it is vibrationally accurate. Good. Um, okay, good. So, um, so, so what next? More, more of this? Because I also feel now, now, so now I know, I can't even imagine what they are, and I'm not trying to imagine what they are. I feel like, okay, the thoughts of, I am now a result of the thoughts that I had in the past. I'm already having thoughts now that are creating new things well, for me. Well, what's going to happen to you? This is the answer to your question, what's next? Because... You ring the bells of a lot of people in this room because many of them and around the world have things on their list that are not yet fulfilled. So the idea of taking that list of things wanted and focusing it in to manifestation is an exciting thing.
In other words, it's nice to fill in the gap. Mm -hmm. It's nice to, to bring the partner that you want to be with to you. And it's nice to attract the, the means of dollars and it's fun to attract the dollars themselves. In other words, we get how these manifestations that you were describing are thrilling. We felt how thrilled those were who were listening on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So what's next is the discovery of the satisfaction of sheer alignment. Yes, alignment produces results. Yes, alignment brings solutions to former problems. Yes, alignment brings answers to questions. Yes, alignment brings the money and the job and the girl. Yes, 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 yes. But alignment is a state of feeling good. Alignment also brings clarity. Esther said the other day, you can't buy this stuff. You can't buy the exhilaration I'm feeling right now. You can't buy the clarity I'm feeling right now. You can't buy this happy heart that I'm dancing with right now. In other words, and so what's next is a sustained realization a, a sustained actualization of being in a place of not split energy. Mm -hmm. We've been saying to you for a while that you have sifted through enough contrast and launched enough rockets into your, what we call your vibrational reality or your vortex of creation to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. In other words, you really don't need more experiences in order to identify more things that you want, but oh, life becomes so sweet when you are now harvesting those things that are in your vortex mm -hmm. like the girl like the job like the money like all of the things that you want but like the clarity like the physical well-being like the exhilaration like the love of life like the sense of value like the sense of personal pride like the feeling of patriotism like the feeling of, of well-being, like the feeling of worthiness. In other words, you're going to start resting in this vibration of just knowing who you are. It's like pushing the reset button. It's like returning to the precise, pure vibrational state you were in when you emerged into this physical body to begin with. Only now you've got a vortex full of things that you have handpicked detail by detail life experience by life experience and now you're in the place of not just receiving well-being you're in a place of receiving specific well-being specific to the choices that you've been putting on your list mm -hmm. it's nice to be there fantastic yeah, really good thank you can i get a good good really really good from you <laughs> 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 gotta ask <laughs> You, you want us to give you a gold star? No, I just want you to say good, good, really, really good. <laughs> the girl right, wasn't okay. enough. <laughs> All right. The girl wasn't enough. <laughs> She's enough. Thank you. All those great ideas weren't enough. <laughs> okay. Us walking with you every step along the way, <laughs> applauding you as you went, rippling through your body. All of those <laughs> feelings of exhilaration. You want words? You did real good. <laughs> you did real good. Thank you. Thank you. really good you did really really good you did so very very good we're amazed at how good you are and how good you did and we really 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 like your process yeah. you're good you are so good you are so really really good do you have any idea how good you are you're good too you're really, really good.